Hey, welcome back everyone. It's Dave Atkinson from Drumio here and I want to welcome all you Rhythm Magazine readers to this lesson. Now in the first lesson we talked about the most popular or the most common issue drummers face and that's note spacing and timing issues. So what's the second? Well that's inconsistent playing due to a weak hand or a weak foot. Now this rings true for everyone and I would have to say that almost every drummer out there has a weak limb or a weak hand compared to their others. And most of the time it's your left hand. If you're a left-handed drummer, it might be your right, but most of the time drummers struggle with a weak left hand or a weak left foot. Now why is this the case? Let's take drums completely out of the picture and think about your day-to-day -day life. Everything you do, you usually lead with your dominant hand, with your right hand. And I'm talking about things like brushing your teeth, picking up your fork to eat, um, throwing a ball, you know, opening a door, all these little things you do, 99% of the time you're gonna, do, you're gonna do them or you're gonna start with your right hand. And over time, your right hand just becomes more dominant. You, you think about things, starting things with your right hand. You think about leading your first step when you walk with your right foot. And with a weak hand or a weak foot, sometimes your groove can become inconsistent and it can really throw off the whole sound that you're trying to create. And like we were talking on the first lesson with timing issues and note spacing issues, your weak hand and your weak foot will only contribute to that. So it's really important that we practice our left hand or whatever weak limb you have so that they're on par or as close to being on par as your other side or your right hand. Now there are many things you can do on the drum kit to help with this and I'm going to give you just a few examples. But before we even get to that, on your day to day activities that you do, just try and use your left hand a little bit more. Tonight when you go home, try brushing your teeth with your left hand. See how awkward it feels. But those are the kind of things that's going to start getting your brain thinking about your left side more and bringing it more into the forefront so that when you go back to your kit, it's not going to feel as awkward. Now when you get to your drum set, the first thing I would suggest doing is just practice your basic rudiments but starting with your left hand lead. Try just practicing a single stroke roll starting with your left hand. Put on the click at 90 beats per minute and I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, it was just a simple rudiment, but I was just playing it with the left hand starting on the one. And this is going to force your brain to weight that click track or to put more focus on that click or that pulse with your left side of your body or your left hand. And it's a great practice. So try this with your double strokes. Try this with your paradiddles. If you're going to spend 10 minutes practicing your single stroke roll, save five minutes of that for your left hand lead. Another really great exercise that I have is what I like to call the de-stupefying your weak hand exercise. And all this is basically doing is using your left hand a lot more or your weak hand a lot more on the kit. So with de-stupefying your left hand, the idea is to play consistent 16th notes on the snare drum while accenting your backbeat on the two and the four. Okay, just like this. Okay, so once you've got that down, throw on eighth notes on the hi-hat. And from there, finish the groove off by throwing a bass drum on the one and three. Now this is actually a pretty challenging exercise to do, so let me throw on the click at 70 beats per minute, I'll throw the sheet music on screen, and we'll go through a few bars of this. Check it out. Why I like this exercise so much is not only does it help with your dynamic control with your left hand, but it also just gets it working a lot more. You have to now focus on what your left hand's doing, you gotta make sure that there are still ghost notes in a backbeat there, you don't want them all sounding the same. Uh, but it's just such a great workout for your left hand. And you can change up the groove as well to work on your independence. So 
there are just so many possibilities with this style of exercise that you can do, changing the groove up, playing eighth notes on the snare instead of sixteenth notes, or maybe eighth note triplets if you're doing a shuffle or a swung pattern. And it's a really good way to get your left hand back into the mix when you're playing and to strengthen your weak side of your body. And again, you don't have to focus on speed here. Sometimes the best exercise is to focus on the dynamic difference between your ghost note and your accented note. Now one last tip to help with that inconsistent weak hand is just to isolate it and practice it. Now this seems obvious, but it's, I'm surprised at how many drummers don't do this. And that's just simply taking your left hand or your left foot or whichever is your weak limb and just isolating it on the practice pad or the snare drum and just practicing singles. So without doing a single stroke roll, just do all singles with your left hand on the snare drum. It seems like a simple and obvious exercise to do, but it really does help. And again, like I said, all we're trying to do is get our left hand or our weak side working more. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope that gave you some ideas as to how you can strengthen your weak side of your body. I'll see you in the next lesson. We're gonna talk about the third most voted issue drummers have. I'll see you there.